So let's say you have a list of leads that you want to do cold outreach to, and for each lead, you want to generate a highly personalized cold email script using the data points you have available. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can automate this process. So here I have an Airtable base. If you're not familiar with Airtable, it's basically a database management tool. Um, and this is where I'm storing my list of leads that I want to generate scripts for. Uh, now this entire thing I'm gonna show you here could also work with a Google Sheet, for example, or any other database, database management tool. Um, if you want me to do a specific video with a specific platform, uh, let me know in the comments below, and if there's high demand, I can do a video for it. For example, if you want me to do it with Google Sheets, I can show you how it's done with Google, Google Sheets. Um, but the idea will be the same. Um, so yeah, this is my list of leads. The way I got this list of leads is using Phantom Buster. So I actually scraped the data from LinkedIn. Uh, if you don't know what Phantom Buster is, is a web scraper tool that has a lot of scrapers for LinkedIn. It allows you to retrieve pretty much any data that you want uh, from LinkedIn in an automated fashion. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna check it out and have lots of videos on my channel about this tool. Uh, but yeah, the idea is that um, I use the LinkedIn search export Phantom to retrieve the results from a LinkedIn search that I performed uh, that contains the people that I want to target, that my, my lead list, essentially. Uh, so I'm targeting marketing managers in the United States. Um, it got me these results, then I copied the search URL. I went to my uh, LinkedIn search export. Under the setup page, I pasted that search URL. Uh, I connected my LinkedIn account. In the behavior, I set it to retrieve uh, the first 10 profiles from that list because this is just an example. Um, and yeah, I then executed this, it retrieved the list. And then what I did next is I used the LinkedIn profile scraper in order to open up each one of these profiles and extract all the data that is available on the profile. So things like the description of the profile, the, the, the job information, uh, the role and all that stuff, things that you don't get on the search page. So that's the LinkedIn profile scraper. And to show you a little bit of the setup here, uh, I basically told it that I want, to, um, I want to scrape the profiles of all the people that I was able to retrieve from the LinkedIn search export phantom. So that's what I'm passing as an input, input here, the LinkedIn search export phantom. Um, again, connected it to my LinkedIn behavior here. I told it to export, uh, uh, scrape 10 profiles. And yeah, the results are here. So uh, for each person, I got the first name, the last name, the current job, their location, their profile description. And using these data points, I'm then um, utilizing AI in order to generate the script. Now, how do I do that? The way that I do that is using Make. So this is where my automation lives, make.com. Uh, it's a uh, workflow automation platform. And uh, the automation starts off with an Airtable search records module. So I went to my Airtable, uh, I searched for the Airtable uh, modules, I selected search records. And on the configuration, I went ahead and created a connection with my Airtable account, very simple to do. Um, then I selected my base from the list. I selected my table that contains all the leads. And then in the formula here, let me just open it again. Okay. In the formula here, I said that I want to retrieve all the records from the database that have the status field equal to generate script. What does this mean? If I go to leads here, you can see that I created two additional fields. Uh, a field called status, which is actually a single select type of field that has two, two options, generate script and script generated. So this is basically the way that I control the automation. When I want to generate a script, I set this to generate script. When the script is generated by the automation, this automatically gets set to script generated. Uh, so I know that it has been successfully generated. And then the script here is a long form 
uh, a long text field, which is where the automation stores the actual generated script. So going back to the automation, I said that I want to retrieve all the records that have status equal to generate script because those are the ones that I want to generate a script for. Uh, all the other ones need to be ignored. And then uh, if I run this, for example, here now, you see that I have two of these set to generate script. So if I run this module only, you will see that it retrieves two bundles, or in other words, it retrieves two records. These are the two that I want to generate a script for. Once it retrieves the records, then I'm passing the data from these records to the OpenAI create a completion module, which generates the actual script. So here, I created a connection with my OpenAI account. I selected create a chat completion as the method. I selected a GPT-40 mini as the model. And then I gave it a system prompt, which is your helpful assistant. And then here is my uh, user prompt. So this is where I instruct the AI to generate the, the script. So I'm saying um, I, have a, I have LinkedIn data points of a prospect, including the first name, last name, job, job title, and company name, location, and profile description. Here are the data point values. So I list out those um, data points, first name, last name, job title, and company, location, and profile description. And for each one, I map the actual value that I retrieve from um, the search records module here. So this is the first name value from the Airtable record, then the last name value from the Airtable record, the current job field, which contains, um, if we go back here, it contains the role name as well as the company name. Uh, the location, and then the profile description value. Uh, and then I'm saying, based on this data, please generate a personalized sales script for the prospect that I can use to initiate a conversation, highlight how my product service can add value to their specific role or company, and build rapport. Uh, the script should include a personalized greeting mentioning the prospect's name and company, a brief mention of something relevant from their uh, LinkedIn profile based on the profile description value, an introduction of the company. So here I created an imaginary company and an imaginary product, um, focusing on how it can solve a pain point or add value to the role. And then I explain what the actual product is, what it does. Um, then I say that it needs to include a clear call to action. So schedule a meeting, quick call, or offer a free demo. And then finally, I say that it needs to have um, a polite closing remark. Now, the final instruction here, the output instruction is that it needs to output the text of the email body, right? So I specifically want the email body, which should not exceed uh, 2000 characters. Then in the max tokens here, I'm, I'm saying that the max tokens I'm gonna give the model are 2000 tokens, which is actually it's, uh, I'm actually gonna turn this to 3,000 because I'm saying that it wants, I want it to generate um, a text that is up to 2,000 characters, but actually 2,000 characters uh, could be more tokens. So I'm gonna set this to 3,000 just so we have enough tokens for the 2,000 characters. Um, and yeah, that's the, that's the prompt, right? That's the instruction for the AI model. Now keep in mind that this is not super sophisticated. Like this is not the, the point of this video. Um, the point of this video is more like the automation, how to build the actual automation. Um, if you want to use this, then I suggest like you actually experiment with the prompt and tweak it until you have something that generates good results for you. And you can use this, you know, as a, as a boilerplate. Uh, so that's the prompt. And then once the script is generated, the last part of the automation is to actually update the Airtable record that the script has been generated for with the actual script value. So here I'm using an Airtable updated record module where I say that I want to update the record with ID equal to the record that has been retrieved here on this module and is currently being processed. So going back to this module, we have retrieved two records and these are indicated by the two bundles here. 
And um, just a side note here, when uh, for each bundle that make retrieves with a particular module, all the subsequent modules are executed for that bundle, right? So here, when we have bundle one or record one, uh, all these modules will be executed for record one, and then it will go back here, it will get the data of bundle two, or in other words, record two, and then it will it will execute all the um, all the modules of the scenario for with the data of that particular bundle. So here, when we're updating the record, we are updating the record with ID equal to the ID of the current bundle that is being executed. And what I'm what I'm what I'm actually updating is the status field. So this thing here, I'm updating it. Uh, I'm changing it from generate script to script generated to indicate that the script was successfully generated. And then on the script field, I pass the value of the um, uh, the 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 output value from the OpenAI module, which contains the actual script and this is found under choices message content right so this is the actual text that is generated by the module that contains the script so this is what i'm passing in the script field there and that's it that's how this works so now if i go ahead and run this automation you will see that these two records will soon get updated um with the script and the uh, the option change. There we go. Script generated, here's a script. And then script generated, here's a script. That's how it works, right? And then if you want to fully automate this, you would set the scheduling options of your scenario. So you would go here on the first module, you would click on the clock icon and then set uh, the uh, time interval at which you want to execute this. So. Um, for example, it can be once a day at 1 p.m. So basically, once a day, uh, the automation will get executed at 1 p.m. It will check the database here to see if there are any fields, uh, sorry, any records with the generate script option selected here. If there are, it will retrieve them. It will process each one and uh, generate the scripts. Um, and then you would switch the scenario to on here so it automatically gets executed and always remember to also save. Uh, so that's how this works, right? That's how you can automate um, your cold email script generation for your, for your leads, uh, generate personalized, um, personalized scripts here using data that you retrieved from, uh, it could be LinkedIn or it could be any other uh, source that you use for your lead generation. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. That's how I set it up. Uh, if you want to, if you, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future videos you would like to see, uh, there's tons of things we can do to expand this and make it more useful. Uh, your feedback is, is very much uh, appreciated. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Um, I hope this was helpful. And with that said, I'm going to see you on the next one.